Am I live? Welcome to the Late Night Picture Show. I'm your host, Murph the Clown. Now last week, when I signed off, I used my cyber name. Did any of you notice? <laughs> Force of habit. Okay, our first picture this week was called Blood Creature when I watched it, but it turns out that's an AKA. Right here. Terror is a man. More horrifying than Frankenstein. More terrifying than Dracula. The rest of that's too small. Bring your own tranquilizer. Why, thank you. I will. Rusty nail. Terrifying. The mind of an animal. The body of a man. The soul of a monster. This might be more dramatic than the movie itself. Now, it's been a little while since I watched this one, so bear with me. Blood Creature, or Terror is a Man. Terror is a Man. <laughs> is a 1959 Lynn Romero production directed by Gerardo De Leon. Apparently he directed kind of a trilogy of these. I'm not sure if I've seen any of the other ones. I'll have to look. In this one... <laughs> They all take place on Blood Island. Not named that because of any reason you might think. But because of the beautiful red sunsets. I know when I see a beautiful red sunset, I think I should call this place Blood Island. Pardon me. I'll get back on track now. <laughs> a lone shipwreck survivor is rescued by a doctor and his curvaceous blonde wife and brought to their home on a lush tropic isle. Here they find the typical cast of characters. The native maid, her strong or er, her inquisitive young son, and don't forget the mysterious and of questionable heritage helper, Walter. Mr. Shipwreck, we'll call him John, because I don't remember his name. <laughs> John soon recovers and learns of the peculiar goings-on in the basement Last week it was the attic, remember? <laughs> now it's the basement. I'm in the basement. Foundation. House. With the aid of his Hollywood starlet wife, the doctor is spinning wild experiments in evolution. Did I just say evolution? Evolution. <laughs> Sometimes I don't remember where I'm from. <laughs> that is instant evolution. Unbeknownst to Darwin, we humans are descendants from cats. I mean, think about it. 
what else would we be descendants from but cats? Well, at least that's the creature that this doctor has kind of evolved whoever into. One of the natives, I suspect. <clears throat> In two weeks... He has evolved, I don't know, a cat into a human or a human into a cat. One way or the other. Well, they also have a hard time keeping the thing leashed. And all the other natives on the island have fled in terror, maybe for their lives. In the midst of all this, our Marilyn Monroe wannabe, the wife, of course neglected by the self-absorbed doctor husband who, you know, doesn't have time for her, this is complicated when Walter, wait, wait, She falls for John, the shipwreck guy, right? And Walter busts them. I got ahead of myself there for a second. Well, this angers the beast. And he breaks his straps and takes after Walter, stopping to kill the maid. Got to kill the maid. And then kidnaps his object of desire. Marilyn there. The doctor and John must put aside their differences and unite to save her. One of them will save the day, right? Well, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> we really don't care at this point. I kind of lost interest along the way. No surprises here. It's your typical Hollywood right off into the sunset. I give Blood Creature, or Terror is a Man, one ring. It's a one ring circus on the Late Night Picture Show, part one tonight. Now be sure and stay tuned for part two, 1972's Blood Freak. Until then... Maybe I'll see you in the lobby. Whoa, what just happened there? <laughs> Be right back. <laughs>